Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive, another episode of the Weekend Recap. I picked up a lot of stuff this weekend. I'm very excited to share with you. we got vintage packs to rip into. we got modern baseball card packs to rip into. we got Hall of Fame rookie cards, PSA 10 rookie cards, a wax mountain, vintage toys sealed in the box. All that is here tonight. So don't you go anywhere and don't you make fun of my sunglass tan line. Let's go ahead and check it all out. Okay, so first things first, you can see I got a lot of stuff I told you it wouldn't even all fit onto one screen. So let's go ahead and make this a little more presentable. There, that looks better. First off, Eric and I visited Cuyahoga Falls on Friday, went to two card shops, and also a flea market, picked up a bunch of wax boxes. This is one I've ripped open before on the channel. Some of you guys may remember this. This is 91 Classic Best. Uh, generally not really valuable cards by any means, but the reason I picked up four boxes of these are because you can find one of the 2000 Mike Schmidt autograph cards. There's also some decent rookie cards in here, minor league cards of Pedro Martinez, Chipper Jones, and several others. So uh, there are some nice cards to chase after, but we're going to rip these all in one night here pretty soon. I'm looking for the Mike Schmidt it's pretty hard to pull, but there's always a chance. we got four boxes of those. And then this is one from 92, also classic best. This is also gives you a shot at a couple different good autographs. Ken Griffey Jr. and Nolan Ryan. They both signed 100 of these cards. And you have some also now Hall of Famers that can be found in here, like Ken Griffey Jr. and Mike Piazza. And there are a couple other nice names as well. So these are jumbo packs. We will rip these open sometime in the near future. 25 cards per pack. One bonus card per pack. So another kind of an oddball one you don't see very often. So looking forward to ripping those. And of course, a ton of 91 score series two. I never really come across these, but man, and I hit the jackpot at all pro sports cards in Cuyahoga Falls. Picked up 10 boxes of these. And we are going to go after the Mickey Mantle autograph. I think we're going to do this all in one night in one continuous live stream. Rip into, I think I have another box too. So 11 boxes of these in search of the Mickey Mantle auto. So that will be a lengthy and uh, fun live stream. Should be several hours. But we haven't done that in quite a while. So pretty stoked to pick up all of those. I don't see those very often. So um, pretty freaking awesome. And also at the flea market this morning, I found some more wax boxes. 93 Top Series 2, the one with Edmonds rookie card in it. Uh, full box for five bucks, which I thought was a great deal. Not an amazing uh, series or anything, not as much as Series 1, but for five bucks from 93, I thought that was great. Couldn't pass on it. And then, of course, Adon Bowman. I love these cards. These are part of my childhood. Some people hate them. Some people love them. But $10 for a box of these is a pretty good deal, I think, nowadays. I checked the packs out. See if there's any, you know, foul play or what looks to be searching, and it looks pretty crisp. So ten bucks for Adon Bowman. I will never ever pass on that. And a couple days ago, I was on Facebook Marketplace and came across these two beauties: Real Ghostbusters Milton Bradley hundred piece puzzles from the late '80s. Generally, these are about fifteen to twenty bucks a piece online, and the lady wanted fifteen for both of them. I think I might have this one, but I'm not sure. But I bought them anyways because it was a great deal. So we have Spangler and Vankman uh, dealing with a crack in the containment unit and Slimer cowering in fear above it. But uh, supposedly these puzzles are, are complete. She had pictures of both of them put together with all the pieces there. So I figure, what the heck, that's pretty awesome. I don't come across vintage RGB stuff very often, especially for a good price like that. So I had to grab both of those. Since we're showing RGB stuff, I figure I might as well show the next pickup from this morning. The original Real Ghostbusters Highway Haunter from Kenner in the late 80s. Picked this up today and I am super excited because this is one I've wanted since I started collecting toys. I just always passed on it and now it's become increasingly more rare. You don't really ever see them get listed anymore like you used to. So this one is sealed in the box. The uh, tape there is 
hanging on by a thread, but it's still hanging on. So we have a Volkswagen type convertible that transforms into a giant Mantis. Pretty excited about this. I'm sure some of you guys may remember this one from your childhoods, but um, very, very nice condition on the Highway Haunter. The only thing I'm not too excited about is this big price tag there, but I do have some of this goo and sticker lifter that I think will take that right off without damaging the cardboard at all. So very, very stoked to finally add this one to my real Ghostbusters collection. Then at the end of last week, I stopped by an antique mall that I go to pretty often. There's one card vendor in there that usually has some decent baseball stuff. And he had a few sets out, and I thought this was a pretty good deal. 95 Bazooka, factory sealed for five bucks. Really not worth very much at all, but we used to buy packs of these all the time from a place down the road from our house called Johnny's Market. So we kind of grew up with them. So very nostalgic seeing this. And uh, I've been buying more sets lately just to have them and collect them. So I was pretty stoked on that. Kind of an oddball one you don't come across very often. I thought this was a pretty good deal too. Don Ross from 89. And this was $10. I was pretty stoked to see that they are all still factory sealed as well in bricks here. So 10 bucks for 89 Don Ross. I thought it was a pretty decent deal. So normally I don't really buy modern cards, but lately I've been indulging in it lately. And um, I want to start getting these rookie cards before they are sky high. So I figure what better time than now to pick up the Eloy Jimenez PSA 10 Chrome rookie card. Very, very nice looking card. I think this was $55 shipped on eBay, which I thought was a pretty good deal for his Chrome rookie. That was the first pickup, and then cannot go wrong with the Fernando Tatis Jr. Gem Mint 10. I think this went, I won the auction, I think this went for around 80 bucks. So Tatis Chrome rookie card, and um, I definitely plan on getting some more. So some card shop pickups and also some flea market pickups. This first one was from All Pro Sports Cards in Ohio. Felix Hernandez. We just did a rip on one of these boxes recently. 2004 Bowman. That's his rookie card. King Felix. That was a few bucks at the card shop. Pretty stoked to add that to my PC. The next one, I think this was a buck at uh, the flea market. Edwin Encarnacion rookie card. Didn't have that one on the PC, so I had to pick it up. And then back to play vintage. This one was one I couldn't pass on. I have it already, but I feel like this one might be better condition than the one I already have. And this card is pretty hot right now. Daryl Strawberry, 83, tops traded. Beautiful looking card. Could not pass on that for 20 bucks. Was pretty excited to pick that one up. And then these were two bucks. So Triple Play Vintage has a bunch of different boxes. They got a $2 box, they have a dollar box, all kinds of stuff. But this is one I was actually eyeing up um, like last week at another card shop and it was like $30. Been going back and trying to get a lot of these vintage rookie cards, but two dollars for that one. I was pretty stoked, and then two bucks for a Jim Caught 1960 rookie card. I have this one as well, but I'm pretty sure this condition is better than the one I already have. So, Jim Caught, not a Hall of Famer, maybe someday, I don't really know. But, um, Jim Caught rookie for two bucks, you cannot beat it. And how about this? My first Mickey Mantle card, I know it's not an amazing one, but. 1959, Mantle hits 42nd homer for Crown. I bought this at the flea market, and I was like, I need to get myself a Mantle. I don't have any. Um, I haven't had any for too long now, and it's time to change that. So baseball thrills, action photos, Mickey Mantle himself. Pretty stoked on that one. Another flea market purchase from Rogers, one that um, has eluded me for long enough. 1961, Juan Marichal rookie card. A tattered rookie card um, one touch here, but... Good looking card. Centering is not too bad and the surface is pretty decent. Uh, overall, I think this is a pretty nice pickup. Seems like it kind of falls around the same price as eBay. I paid 35 bucks for it, but I figured 35 bucks for a Marichal rookie card um, is pretty freaking awesome. So that will go into the rookie collection. And then last but not least, a 1963 Willie Stargell rookie card. I bought this from All Pro Sports Cards in Cuyahoga Falls. Man, was I stoked on this one. This is one I've wanted for quite a while, and this condition on this card is pretty freaking awesome. I definitely had to make sure that I ripped it out of the, the screw-down case and uh, checked it out to make sure it wasn't a counterfeit. Although, I don't think there's too many counterfeits of Willie Stargio out there, as much as there are of Pete Rose, but you never know. And um, this sticker mark here kind of made it seem like a dead giveaway just because this probably sat in a window seal or in a showcase and became faded over time and whatever the original price tag sticker on there at one point 
um, is left behind. But great condition, 80 bucks, all pro sports cards. Very, very excited to uh, have the Star Joe rookie card in my collection. And then also, at Turo Play Vintage, we met up with Scott from Reindeer Studios. Great guy. And Scott hooked me up with this freaking awesome shirt that he made. G.I. Joe figures doing the YMCA. Pretty freaking awesome. I was blown away by that when I saw it. Very, very talented guy, Scott. Reindeer Studios, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate this. Now let's rip some packs. I picked up all these 89 Don Russ packs at Trill Play Vintage on Friday. Three for a buck. You cannot beat that deal for a chance at Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, Kurt Schilling, Smoltz, Randy Johnson. All those heavy hitters are in that set. Three for a buck. Trill Play Vintage, check them out. Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. If you have not been in there yet, you are blowing it. So I'm going to keep those off to the side for now. And then these were a flea market pickup from Rogers. Ten bucks for all these packs. And uh, just a quick glance, I was like, wow, ten dollars for all these. Now, these two alone right here are worth ten bucks by themselves. 93 top Series 1 uh, possible chance at a Jeter or Jeter Gold. So let's go ahead and rip into some of these. we got um, quite a few here. There's some I'm not going to open. Uh, like we have some 92 tops with far more tags on them. 91 Don Russ. I'm not going to open those two. Um, 88 score. 93 tops series two. You know what? This is a really peculiar pack here um, because it's it's got to be searched. There's no gum in this. So let's go ahead and see if the um, searcher left us anything good in here. Best cards in the set, Smoltz Rookie, Johnson Rookie, Sheffield. Yeah, I would say they searched that pack. Nothing prominent at all in there. Um, 91 tops, let's rip this open. Maybe we'll find the Mark Whitten error card. I've been wanting to pull that card of a pack since I was a little kid. And a nasty, nasty looking piece of gum there. But same thing with these. If you find these packs at flea markets, 91 tops, you never know. They could be a Desert Shield. There is no indicator between regular tops and Desert Shield. So unless you rip it open, you will not know what's inside. So a pack of Desert Shield cards would cost you easily 100 bucks nowadays. Shane Andrews, rookie card, and Felix Jose, gold cup. And let's go ahead and try our luck at this one, too. I feel a gum in there still. Dale Murphy on the back some disgusting gum. I don't know uh, how much you'd have to pay me to eat that. It'd probably be an awful lot. Darnell Coles. See if we can find a Chipper Jones rookie card. Obviously not Desert Shield. John Smiley. Raphael Palmeiro. Wade Boggs. I always like that shot of him. And Dale Murphy and his Phillies uni. Uh, what else we got? We got 90 tops. Let's check this out and see if we can't find the Frank Thomas no name on front. If we pull that card, it's going to be randomly from a pack like this, but I don't want to jinx myself. Look at that freak. Jeez, that is disgusting. I've never seen gum that bad in packs. Mark McGuire is a good sign. The indicator, I want to say, is Kurt Schilling for the Frank Thomas rookie card. Nolan Ryan, really off to a good start here. Barry Bonds, that's probably the best pack of 90 tops I've ever opened. McGuire, Nolan Ryan, and Bonds. And no Frank Thomas in that pack. We can't be greedy. That was a good pack to begin with. 93 Top Series 2 actually bought a box of this today for 5 bucks, which I thought was a great deal. The best rookie in there is Jim Edmonds. I'm not going to open that one either. 94 Tops with a Hill sticker. I'm going to keep these sealed. Nothing too prominent in those packs, but I primarily wanted to go after all these packs um, for these two alone. So, And then there's some different ones in here I haven't opened in a long time. Uh, like 95 Tops. I'm not going to open that one, but... Let's check out 93 Tops. We'll open one. We'll check out some of these other packs. And then we will go back to the other one. See what we have here. Ryan Sandberg on top. Looking for Jeter Gold card. Looks like we're not getting in this pack. Ken Griffey Jr. Check that out. I love that card. Such an awesome shot of him. Sandberg and Ken Griffey Jr. in the same pack. I love the design of 93 Tops. So basic yet um, so outstanding. I think so at least. No Jeter in that pack. Let's keep on moving. 2000 opening day. I've never opened a pack of these before in my life. Seven cards. I was long gone out of the hobby in the year 2000. Moved on and doing different things until I came back like 15 years later. Cool design though. The uh, gray border compared to the gold border regular tops from this year. Jay Bell, 
Miguel Tejada, a little bit of brickiness, but um, no paper loss. Billy Wagner, Ricky Henderson, Javi Lopez, Slam Derby, April 7th, 2000. Never seen those. Sweepstakes, nothing too great in there. Henderson, Javi Lopez, a couple decent names. Uh, Javi Lopez looks like he's trying to squeeze one out. Pretty interesting looking car to him. Uh, let's check out, we'll save this other 95 Tops Pack. 96 Stadium Club. I think I bought a box of these not too long ago. A pack I haven't opened in many, many years, so we'll see what we have here. Maybe we'll find a nice insert. Sissel Fielder. Never liked this design, though. Kevin Seitzer. Seen a lot of him. Too bad it's not the uh, 93 Select card. Jim Edmonds. Um, what is this? Team Stadium Club? Is that what these are called? Something like that. Yeah, Team Stadium Club. Cool design. Edmonds, Bobby Bonilla, Mike Hampton, Matt Williams. Dean Palmer, Tyler Green, with a little bit of paper loss, Butch Husky, shout out to Cheswick, and Andy Ashby. Ends that pack. We got some more tops. Let's do 2002 Series 2. Maybe we'll find a Joe Maurer rookie card. These are probably going to be bricked. Eh, no. Pretty good luck there. Hideo Nomo in the middle of the pack. Juan Encarnacion, Brett Boone, Jeff Bagwell. That's a cool one. Never seen that one before. Damon and his A's uni. And we have an insert card, looks like. Hideo Nomo, 51 years of tops, it looks like. That's pretty awesome. It's number two, 1777 out of 2002. Not very often I pull numbered cards because I don't open anything usually after the year 2000. Not very often, at least. So, pretty freaking sweet. Numbered Nomo. And what do we have here? Uh, Clemens card, Yankees versus White Sox. America, United We Stand. It looks like it's a regular base card, but pretty freaking nice, though. Very, very nice. I like that card a lot. Right after 9-11, I guess, that shot was taken. Bob Boone, Bob Brenly, Davey Lopes, Mike Socia, Tom Kelly, and Bobby Cox. Too many managers in that pack. <laughs> what gives? <laughs> if I was a kid, I'd be pissed. Freaking six manager cards. I we got gypped on that one. Uh, 2,000 tops. Let's check these out. Try to rip through these as fast as possible because we've got a lot of stuff to show you. We have a 2020 blaster box to open. Looking for the Lewis Robert rookie card. So I hope you'll stick around for that. All right, 2000 tops. I guess these had the silver border too. What was it? 01 tops at the gold border. I can't remember. Jeff Bagwell, Fred McGriff, Randy Johnson. Good start. Amazing pack. Smoltz. Bunch of Hall of Famers and should be Hall of Famers. Bernard Gilkey kind of leads way to the pack. The rest of the pack being. Junkie, it looks like so far. Paul, Paul Bird, Brian Giles, cool Hank Aaron card. I remember having that one as a kid. Part of the base set. But that is a neat one. Number 44. All oh, his stats in the back. I like that one a lot. Cool shot of him. Ryan Klesko, Kendall. Will we pull any of the prominent rookie cards, which is probably Barry Zito in this set, I think. Nothing great there. Todd Helton, who might be a future Hall of Famer at some point. And Wade Boggs, 20th Century Best. I'm going to save the rest of these Tops packs, put these off to the side. Let's go ahead and rip into 93 Series 1, see if we can find a Jeter Gold rookie card. I don't come across these packs very often, so. Fingers crossed. That is already shot out the window. Henry Rodriguez Gold card. Maybe we'll find his regular base rookie card. That would be pretty freaking awesome. Greg Olson, Greg Maddox, and Mel Rojas. No draft pick cards in that pack. That takes us to our last item of the night. We have 2020 Series 2. We're ripping into this. All right, so we've got seven packs here. I was lucky to find one of these at the flea market for 20 bucks, And uh, that was a pretty good deal, seeing how people are buying these and flipping them. We're looking for the Robert rookie card. And... I bought a few packs of these the other day and ripped them, uh, some jumbo packs, and did not find it. Will Myers leading off. Kevin Newman. Brian O'Grady rookie card. Michael Brantley. Delano DeShields Jr. Ozzy Albies. Jorge Soler. Sandy Koufax, Turkey Red. Colton Wong and Kim's rookie card. On to pack two, and we also have this one too, the, I don't know, exclusive medallion card pack. I'm not really familiar with these. I guess these are pretty hard to find, these blasters, like I said, because of people buying and selling, flipping them or whatever. Garrett Cole and his Yankees uni. 
He's off to a good start. So far, Adam Eaton. And Brendan Rogers feature stars card. John Carlos Stanton. Blake Snell and Ichiro. Uh, decades best. Looks like we have Anthony K. Turkey Red. Um, Ronaldo Lopez and Colby Allard. Inaugural season. No sign of the robbery yet. I guess it might be kind of tough to pull this one from what people are saying. I just purchased a whole bunch of Don Russ packs off of eBay, hoping to find one of his rookie cards. I'd much rather pull it than um, buy it flat out. It's much more fun for me, at least. Yamaguchi's rookie card. Austin Hayes. Ryan O'Hearn. Steve Carlton's 70s decade's best. Manny Machado. Fernandez rookie, Clint Frazier, and James McCann on a pack number four. Mike Ford leading off. Astadio, AJ Pollock, Dickerson, Hap, and Duhar. Barry Larkin, 85 design. Real Muto. Tom Eshelman and Wong's rookie card. And then there were three. Cole Hamill's on the back here. David Bedner, rookie. Trevor Story. Each row's inaugural card. His rookies are kind of taken off, too. Hernandez. Miley. Contreras. Keston Hira. Numbered 872 out of 2020. It's pretty cool. Lou Gehrig's Turkey Red. Wendell Rookie Card. And then there's a Cole Hamels. Takes us to two left. Nick Ahmed on the back. Revved up. Howie Kendrick on there. J.R. Davis. Thought that was going to be um, Alonzo for a second there. Wars of the Diamond Griffey. It's a pretty cool card. Never seen these yet. It's pretty awesome. Brustar Gratterall. Braves New World. And there's the Ahmed last pack. Cross, fingers crossed for the uh, Robert rookie card. Jonathan Hernandez leading off here. Chad Green. Fernandez Gregorius. Stubbs, you Darvish. And a chrome turkey red of Lou Gehrig. Ozzy Smith. Hosmer. And we did not find it in those packs. On to the last one here. And it's going to be Anthony Rizzo. Medallion commemorative coin. That's pretty cool, though. I've not seen these yet. Definitely a, a decent name there, Anthony Rizzo. I like the pretty uh, cool design there. So I guess you get one of those in every blaster box. The thing is freaking thick. I guess it'd have to be for that big stylish coin. But no sign of Lewis Robert. I guess I will have to continue buying these until I can pull that card, if I can find them anywhere. But that is all I have for the weekend recap for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I picked up. And um, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I will see you on Tuesday for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday and 96 Finest Series 1. Looking for refractors of Hall of Famers. So hopefully see you then. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your weekend.